Having trouble passing a Madden 23? Want a more consistent and explosive offense? Break yourself, fool! In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about passing. So if you want to see the secrets to a high scoring passing offense like this, oh my God. all inside one of the craziest gameplays you will ever see, <laughs> stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I am once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offense and multi D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more from these ebooks, I will have links in the description as well as the top pinned comment. All of the offenses and defenses that I will be showing you today, though, I have already put out free videos on my YouTube channel showing you how to run in my other gameplays. So I have links in the description for those videos as well. But today's video, I'll be focusing on passing. My first tip is probably one of the most underutilized tools in the game, and that's your play audible screen. You should never call a play from any formation without setting up your audible plays. The only excuse that I will accept is if you're running out of time on the play clock and even then I would say it's better to just call a timeout. Every single game and every single offense I use I always set up my audible plays with a good mix of run and pass plays for every defense. My next tip is connected to the first one and that is to always read the defense. I've already put out a full breakdown video on how to do this so I will once again leave a link in the description. On this first play I've called a play with all man beating routes because most people run either cover one or man zero blitz. I know from reading this defense pre-snap that because of the single high safety that I'm looking at it is most likely either a cover one man or a cover three zone. Based on this read, I pre-diagnosed the tight end as the best option. Once the play starts, I see that it's a zone based on how the defenders follow and I throw a tight window pass in between the zones followed up by a safe catch. There's three types of catching functions and they are all important when it comes to completing passes. Safe catching should be used at any time a defender is close enough to knock the ball loose. Tapping A or X, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation, will make the defender shield the ball, giving him a better chance of securing the catch. On the next play, use the aggressive catch function using the wire triangle button to high point the ball in front of the defender. Altering your catch is really important as I probably wouldn't have completed either of these passes without them. I will go over rack catching a little bit later in the vid as it's equally important. Altering the pass is also something you should do every play. Bullet passing is the one you'll probably use the most as it will get the pass to the target the fastest. The longer the ball is in the air, the more time your opponent has a chance to make a play on it. To bullet pass, hold the target's icon and try to release it when the meter is in the blue for perfect accuracy, although there is no penalty to hold it down the entire way through the pass. Lob passing is best for deep pass plays. On the next play, I try to set up a cover through one play touchdown, but I poorly timed the throw. Damn it! and once again make a bullet pass instead of a lob causing an interception. This was totally planned just to show you how important it is to make the right type of throw. Does anyone believe that? Anyone? Anyone? On the defensive side, I'm using a lot of experimental defenses that I'm hoping to master and bring to you at a later date once I do. But for now, it's really not working out as my opponent methodically goes down the field and takes an easy seven point lead. Back on offense, never force it. Always have a check down as a backup plan pre-snap. On the next play, I don't force it deep. I take the positive gain underneath and I get a good play. On the next play, the pressure gets in before the play develops. I escape out of the pocket for a positive game, but I overestimate Jalen Hurts' strength as a runner as he fumbles the ball. Real life Jalen Hurt does not fumble the ball like this as he constantly fights through contact. So in my opinion, this needs to be fixed to reflect that, but at the end of the day, you should always slide by tapping the X or square button when running with the quarterback because quarterbacks always fumble otherwise. On the very next play, my opponent capitalizes on the turnover. No! and we are in a 14 nothing hole very early, which is exactly why this is a passing video, not a defense video. On the next play, I don't force it once again, but it would have been a much better decision to safely throw it away by pushing in the R3 button, otherwise known as the right stick to throw it safely out of bounds. On second and 19, I go to one of my best pass plays and finally get to use the rack catch function by tapping the X or square button, which allows me to accelerate through the catch for a bigger catch and run. This function should only be used when no one is in the area because if you get hit when using this, a drop is almost guaranteed. Making hot route adjustments is also something you should do every play. On this play, I streak the wide triangle route receiver to create space for the corner route. And I also give myself a dragging check down in case that route fails, which it does not. On the next play, 
I read the defense post snap this time and see he is hard flatting. So I wait until my read turns up the field and get a big play inside the red zone. Now that I'm inside the five, he's definitely going to be hard flatting from here. And even though his hard flat corner would normally shut down a flat right like this, the improved pass lead function in the new passing system is so accurate that you can pass lead up by pressing up on the right stick while passing and turn the receiver upfield before the cornerback even has a chance to make a play. And that's exactly what I do to get an easy touchdown from about five yards out. Back on defense though, if you can call it that, my opponent is having no issues with my man zero blitz as my user just feels like he is running in quicksand. <laughs> As I give up another quick score to remain down two touchdowns only seconds before half. My next tip is watch the previous play screen. If you're not good at reading a defense, this will tell you exactly what your opponent just ran. There's a pretty good chance he'll run it again. So I call a cover four quarters, one play touchdown, and sure enough, he's in the exact same play. This play can score from about any defense in the game. So if you want to see an entire breakdown of this in a future video, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> as we bullet and pass lead inside for the easy one play touchdown. At halftime, we change our focus to defend inside runs and we almost get a fumble on the very next series, but my opponent luckily gets it back. On the next play, he isn't so lucky though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back Come on. My entire defense blasts the ball loose and we're going the other way to tie the score up. Back on defense, we are finally figuring out his offense or he's getting frustrated and making mistakes, maybe both. Got it as we get a big turnover. But on third and nine, even though we do everything right, we bullet, we pass lead away from the defender, we safe catch, AJ Brown does something he doesn't do either, which is drop the ball. What? Back on defense, his answer for my man Blitz has been throwing to the running back, and this time I'm all over it. Gotcha, bitch. As we are going the other way, and Kobe Dean gets his second defensive touchdown of the game. What a performance. By that, I mean me. Did you see that user lurk? We wrapped him. Nigga, you see me coming on that play? Back on defense though, he is not impressed as he goes right back to the running back. And I can't figure out why N'Kobe Dean feels so fast sometimes but so slow some other times. But I should probably replace him with a faster safety. Truthfully, I'm an Eagles fan and I just like using him because I was really happy that we drafted him in the third round. I mean, the dude was a first round lock. What a steal, right? We get him to a fourth and nine. He barely gets the ball away in front of the blitz to tie it up at 28 apiece. Or not. Psych! As he goes for the fake field goal and totally catches me off guard. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. So now I'm down a point with four minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're thinking to just kill the clock, go down the field, kick a field goal, and give him the ball back with no time left. So we really start forcing short routes, and on the next play, we make a huge mistake as we didn't see the best linebacker in the game sitting right in the middle of the field of his cover one. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So now I have to score a touchdown and a two-point conversion, so I'm going to need to do all the things that I showed you to make sure that this drive works out and go the length of the field. I set my audible plays and start a new offense. I make my hot route adjustments, pre-snap, read, cover two, bullet, and pass lead away from the safety for a big play. On the next play, it's not there, so I throw it away by pushing in the right stick. On the next play, I take the check down and the rat catch for a bigger catch and run. Next, I read the defense, see man coverage, so I go right back to the zig for another big play. I see he's in cover three and I see my wide receiver get outside the corner and somehow the ball goes right through my player and gets picked off, likely costing me the game. There is about a minute and 30 seconds left though and I do have all my time out. So if I get a three and out, I should still have a chance to get the ball back and have one more shot. He comes out of run formation and I come out with the same man blitz he's been torching all game. Surprisingly, he passes as my blitz finally gets in and gets the much needed sack, giving us new life as running for 16 yards seems much more unlikely as I call my first time out. On the next play, he passes again and the blitz gets home, knocking him back to an impossible third and 28 as I call my second time out. Now he has to pass and our blitz gets home for the third straight play. I can't help but wonder where this pressure was all game as I call my last time out, knocking him back to fourth and 35. He punts the ball away and I have 39 seconds and no timeouts to get eight points. We go back to our best play, the PA fork, and even though he follows the route, we aggressively catch one more time and moss both his user and the computer defender with AJ Brown. What a play. I run a hurry up and go right back to it on the short side of the field and we get out of bounds at the sideline as we are now within striking range of the end zone without resorting to a Hail Mary. Every play from here on out has to be a shot to the end zone or the sideline as I have no time to waste. He is all over that corner route now though as it's beating him two plays in a row. I force it up and try to moss the safety but it doesn't work. Watch the previous play and see he is running cover three consistently so I make some new adjustments specifically for cover three. Once again, he is predictably on that corner route which is fine by me because I'm attacking those seams. 
as we bullet, pass lead away from the safety, and most importantly, nail the safe catch to get the potential game tying score. I still need one play though, and we're going to let the entire game ride on an inside zone. Can we get it? Yes, sir, and we are heading to overtime. We get the ball first, so we are thinking touchdown, but we got to play smart. Still reading the defense, we take the underneath route to start the drive. Then we see he is still in cover three, so we take the corner route and rack catch for a big play. We read cover three defense one more time, take the wheel route, and we are once again in field goal range. We shoot for the end zone on the next play, only to get a BS accuracy despite a perfect accuracy rating and no pressure from any defender at all. <coughs> And this is where the drive stalls. We get sacked back to the 40-yard line and have to kick a 55-yard field goal. If we miss this, he basically is in game-winning field goal range himself. Can we make it? You better believe it. Now it's up to our defense, which has either scored points or allowed them all game, but we haven't gotten too many stops, but one is all we need. He starts to drive by killing my man coverage with a simple drag like he has done all game, calls a hurry up and then does it again. And I decide he's not going to go down the field and score me with this bullshit. So I make a quick adjustment to a zone with hard flats and he throws right into the trap. Gotcha, bitch. As we get the game winning interception for a comeback after comeback after comeback win. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplay videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have another gameplay video breaking down some of the pass plays that I used in this video, the PA Fork specifically. So if you guys want to see that, just click the link. I promise you it will help your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.